Hey, have you heard our new single yet? You're supposed to say yes, I've heard it, I loved it. <laughs> what single? Our, our new single just came out. Bundy? Yeah. Dude, congrats. Thanks, congrats man. on the new single. Thank you. Yeah. Here at the studio where we record everything. It's a bit of a mess right now because we're working on getting our lives set up going. But this is where we recorded Crush and we've recorded Bastard Performer here and we've recorded a lot of bands here. And it's been really cool having the space to be able to create. Um, especially, I know a lot of bands right now, they don't have a place to create. So I'm very grateful for it, and um, I can't wait to get back in the studio as soon as uh, we can figure out how to get all this equipment working again, um, because we're revamping everything. And so we can play Crush and uh, all of our other songs live on um, our YouTube stream, which we did for a while, and it was super fun. And I can't wait to get back at it. Our newest single is called Crush. Um, featuring uh, Subtle Smiles, some friend of ours, friends of ours, Brian and Marley. I asked them to join us on the track because when we recorded it, I didn't think that the track was done yet. I told my band, hey guys, I think that the song sounds good, but it's just not there yet. There's something that it needs. And so I asked them to jump on the track and he's a great, Brian's a great producer, so he, he added a lot of great stuff to the track and he helped me with learning how to do Facebook ads and how to do a lot of the promotion stuff that you need to do when you release a track. So I'm very, very grateful for his help on all fronts. And thanks to our friends at Donut Sounds Records, uh, we were able to get some Spotify campaigns going, which was awesome because who doesn't want more plays? Normally on when I release a track, I think we get like a couple hundred plays over a few weeks. This time, because we're a really small band. Uh, we do everything ourselves. We do, like our label is there and they help us when they can, but they're not a particularly large label either. So we have to figure out how to do everything ourselves. I'm gonna hit the curb. Don't hit the curb. Ah, I'm a terrible driver. I gotta learn how to do a U-turn. Maybe that'll be my new, my new skill in 2021. I could do U-turns better. I wanted to take a minute to call my bass player, JB. He's a great bass player, and I haven't talked to him since October when we last played together. And so I'm gonna show you our Zoom call, and uh, I hope that it's entertaining for anybody. Boom. Um, yeah, your hair's so long, dude. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, no, I'm like the long hair guy in the band now. I guess. That's true, because I cut my hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you, did you um, do that on purpose, or did you do that because you just haven't gone to a hairdresser since the thing started? Yeah, I think it's been almost a year since I've gotten a haircut. Whoa. Is this the longest you've had it, or you've had it longer than that? Uh, I don't know. It's pretty close. Yeah. It's like down, almost down to your shoulder. I think it looks good, though. Yeah, no, I like it. I'm going to keep it. It's like... The nice part is I've always like wanted to go back to having long hair, but having like a job where I have to look professional, like I couldn't do it. That's true. Uh, the pandemic is a perfect excuse to let it go. Yeah. And now it's to the point where it's just about long enough where I can clean it up nicely in like a bun. Yeah, you had the, for a while you had that giant beard going too. Yeah. It looks like you trimmed it down. Yeah, did that a little bit too. Um, so, so you know we put out that, that song like two days ago. Yeah. And we recorded that like two years ago, I think. Yeah, I don't even remember. It was forever ago. Because I remember we were supposed to put that out in like summer of not this this year, but the last year before that. Yeah. And we didn't put it out at the time. I remember because we because we had recorded the whole thing at Johnny with Johnny at the studio. Right. And then and then I don't know. Do you remember when we wrote that song? Like how far from when we even wrote it to when we recorded it? Because that was a while too. Yeah, it's been, it's been probably like almost three years. Yeah, which is 
kind of crazy to me because you, I'm used to like writing a song and then you record it like six months later and then you put out six months later after that and it's right. like a year cycle or something but like three years to me was like whoa that's crazy yeah, yeah it's forever though but I remember when we finished we got because we, we originally we had Louis from fellow robot mix it and yeah. it sounded good but it just didn't sound like there was a lot going like it didn't sound full and big you know it just didn't pop it didn't pop yeah so then so that's when i sent it to brian but yeah we put it out like two days ago and with brian we did like this whole campaign like he's he went crazy like researching how to do like 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 instagram promotions facebook all that stuff so that people could actually listen to it which is really cool yeah um but it was it was it was getting it out to people in a way that they could actually find it because when we put out american freedom there was like like we did all a lot of work on that i don't know if you remember yeah we did i think we did a like we did like a live video and we did like a performance video or something i can't remember exactly i think it was just that live one with like the white jumpsuits or whatever yeah i made you guys buy white jumpsuits yeah <laughs> do you still have that <laughs> have you worn it since Nope, it's still sitting in a bag right over there. I like to get drunk sometimes, and I'll put on my jumpsuits and walk around the house. Yeah. And that's pretty fun. Um, and that's about the extent of those jumpsuit usage. I have been wearing, uh, you know, the skeleton pajamas we did for the Halloween show? Yeah. I have been wearing mine. You got, it's like, the, the onesie, right? Yeah, it's actually really comfortable. Oh, man, I should have gotten the onesie. What did I do? I just wore, like, a trench coat or something like that. Yeah, I think so. I didn't. I didn't want to spend because those things were a little expensive. I think they're like sixty dollars or something. Yeah, I think mine was around forty or fifty. Yeah, and I was like, mm, "Am I ever going to wear this again?" But it sounds like you're making good use of it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a solid buy. I'm kind of sad you're not wearing it right now, to be honest. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> so we put out the single, and we and Brian and I did a lot of work to get like the ad. Um, campaign going or whatever so people can actually find it and it's it's been really cool because we've been getting like the most plays out of any single like three days in we've got like a ton of plays and people are like reposting it and all that good stuff and I'm just, I'm like really stoked to have everybody um, on board with it I guess and I've been getting people messaging me like hey this song is really good like you guys did a really good job that, J- that, that bass player JB is the hottest piece of meat on the street you should put that in a taco and eat it yep well, so, wrong. Yeah, so, and, then, and we haven't talked um, for a few months, I think. Yeah, it's been like since before Thanksgiving, I think. So, thing. Yeah, I kind of wanted to give you an update about like what was happening with that, but also record it so that I can make a YouTube video out of it. <laughs> yeah. We, we got <laughs> to have some, some amount of content while we're not, right. we're not putting out like a ton of music. Yeah. Um, but uh, what have you been like? Cause, okay, so we did, we did the live stream thing. Yeah. And then and then we just kind of haven't seen each other and then i know you had like a little bit of a COVID scare which thank god you didn't actually have it no i did you did have it yeah oh but but okay uh, what happened tell me so, so i got it and then uh, i think that's probably when i told you guys i probably had it and then i don't know if i, I maybe, maybe i didn't tell you guys that i actually did test positive but once I got better, I tested again just to make sure before I go back out into the world. That it, that's when it was naked. Okay, because I remember you told me over the text, you were like, I think I have it. Um, I have the symptoms. And then later, like a few weeks later, you were like, oh, I got my test back. I'm COVID free. So that's what you meant was you had it and then you didn't right. have it. So did you, did you do, they put the swab up your nose? I haven't gotten tested. They put the swab up your nose? Uh, they, you do it yourself. So you just like drive through, they give you like a little test kit, you put the swab up your nose, you put it in the little test tube, yeah. and then you throw it in the bag. Yeah. Did you have to make an appointment or you just drive in? I've never, I honestly have never done it. Yeah, I made an appointment. Okay. And I think they do have to like walk in stuff, but it's easier if you just do an appointment. Okay. Um, I know that they're doing, they're rolling out with Biden being uh, inaugurated yesterday. Yeah. And he's like super hardcore. Like in first 100 days, we're gonna get like everybody vaccinated and stuff. So that's gonna be awesome. I'm just gotta right. wait on that. And I haven't. I ain't like you know. I hang out with a, a couple people here and there, like Ozzy, because I'm producing some music for him, which I'm gonna talk to you about it after we're done filming this. Do you have any like words for anybody who might be watching, <laughs> for like, like stay safe kind of thing? Um, it, it's probably best to uh, release music three years after you write it. <laughs> yeah. That's probably good advice for 
releases a couple colors. Yeah. Don't don't rush to put it out. Yeah. That is a good point. That is a good point. Like don't just because you have a song doesn't mean that it's good to go. Like you don't have to release everything you make. Yeah. Don't just like put out a bunch of mediocre stuff just because you can. 